Hi, some people have asked me to do a tutorial on guitar showing um, how I do some of the covers of Cocteau Twin songs. And I think this is actually a topic that's well suited to uh, a tutorial because it's pretty simple to learn once you realize that um, in a lot of Cocteau Twin songs, what Robin Guthrie likes to do is uh, play these chords that are just on the top three strings. So if you just use the top three strings, uh, there's three different chord shapes that you can use that uh, make playing chords on the top three strings really um, easy to play. So that's what I'm going to be showing in this video. So using the first three strings, you can make basic chord shapes with just the uh, triad, the first, third, and fifth elements of the chord. <laughs> different shapes that you can use and uh, the first one it's just one three and five the first third and the fifth of a major triad and you get that by just playing an A chord and just taking the top top three strings and then you can treat that as, as a movable form so move that up and fret the last string. Two frets back. So that's B flat. And that's C. And D. And E. And so on. So I'm going to call that the A shape. So that's a major triad. And with the minor form, you take the third, you drop the third back, one fret. So that's taking an A minor chord, and the, the top three strings of that. And then as a movable form, again, you fret that last string. So you just get one, two, three, like that. So that's C minor. So there's C major and C minor. D major. And D minor. So that minor shape is a really pretty sound. That E minor there is especially pretty. So then the next chord shape is if you just take a D chord, and again the top three strings, and then that becomes a movement. So the shape, the first note is the fifth element of the chord, and the second is the root, it is the middle one, and then the third string is the third of the chord, which completes the triad. So it's, so it's five, one, three. And then in the minor form, you just take a D minor shape, drop the third, and you and then that's a movable form. So that's, so that's E minor, and uh, E minor. And then the third shape okay, first you to the D 
new shape, that's the major, that's the minor. Okay, so now the third shape. Just, you take an F chord. And take the top three strings. And then that's the movable form. So I'm going to call that the F shape. And this is the third of the triad first. And then the fifth. And then the, and the root is on top. So it's three, five, one. It's really easy to play. Um, it's also really versatile. It means that you can mix up different kinds of shapes that are being used without having to go up and down the, the, the fretboard playing the same shape to make different chords. So, for example, this being D. F sharp minor. So one fret, one note difference gives you a totally different chord from D major to F sharp minor. And here's another one. Likewise, you have C, C major with the A shape. And then you drop the first drop the first note one fret. Then that's E minor using the D shape. So C major and E minor. So you put all these together, you can. Uh, make all kinds of uh, different chord progressions that are really nice. So with the serpent skirt, uh, and the chorus starts with a with a G, a G major chord using the A shape, and then you just slide down like that using your second, third, and fourth fingers. Then, then you just slide down to where you're in. The third finger goes down extra fret and you're at an A minor. minor using the D shape. And then E minor. Uh, with A minor to E minor using the A shape again, but this time in minor. The E minor with an A shape to D. is not part of this tutorial, but a very pretty chord none, nonetheless.
So we put it all together. And then it goes like this. So here's another example of how this works. In, in the song, Those Eyes, That Mouth, you're actually arpeggiating pretty fast on that one, but the notes kind of bleed together so that uh, it sounds like chordy. So I'll start with D major with an A shape. And then down to... E minor with the D shape. And then E major again. And then after alternating between those two. And that's an E major also with an A shape. So you know, there's two different E major chords. That so it's going back and forth between the D, E. And then and this is also an E major, but a different E. It's actually just going back and forth between D major and E major. But it, but there's a shift in what you're playing in which E, so it it it, it just varies it up some. And then in the last verse up to uh, F sharp minor. So all together, it goes like this.